Hello everyone, hope you are doing well and in this video, I'll be talking about the Toledo War and give you my thoughts about this conflict. I hope you enjoy or at least find this video informative. But first, a thank you to Ironcaster for suggesting the topic of this video. Now, for those who are unaware, according to Wikipedia, the Toledo War, 1835-36, also known as the Great Toledo War, the Michigan-Ohio War or the Ohio-Michigan War, was an almost bloodless boundary dispute between the U.S. state of Ohio and the adjoining territory of Michigan. Poor geographical understanding of the Great Lakes helped produce conflicting state and federal legislation between 1787 and 1805, and varying interpretations of the laws led the governments of Ohio and Michigan to both claim jurisdiction over a 468 square mile, 1,210 square kilometers region along the border, now known as the Toledo Strip. The situation came to a head when Michigan petitioned for statehood in 1835 and sought to include the disputed territory within its boundaries. Both sides passed legislation attempting to force the other side's capitulation, while Ohio's Governor Robert Lucas and Michigan's 24-year-old boy Governor Stevens T. Mason helped institute criminal penalties for citizens submitting to the other's authority. Both states deployed militias on opposite sides of the Maumee River near Toledo. But besides mutual taunting, there was little interaction between the two forces. The single military confrontation of the war ended with a report of shots being fired into the air, incurring no casualties. During the summer of 1836, the United States Congress proposed a compromise whereby Michigan gave up its claim to the Strip in exchange for its statehood in about three-quarters of the Upper Peninsula. The northern region's mineral wealth later became an economic asset to Michigan, but at the time the compromise was considered a poor deal for the new state, and voters in a statehood convention in September soundly rejected it. But in December, facing a dire financial crisis and pressure from Congress and President Andrew Jackson, the Michigan government called another convention, called the Frostbitten Convention, which accepted the compromise resolving the Toledo War. Personally, I am of the view that all's well that ends well, although both sides could not get what they wanted. It is good old compromises like these that have ensured the survival of the American Union, where in the medium to long term, all within it do benefit and that is why the borders of both Ohio and Michigan are the way they are today, and if push came to shove, would Michigan really prefer the Toledo Strip if it meant having Ohio on its both its northern as well as on its southern border, I for one am content to see things stay as they are. Well ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching and have a great day, until next time, bye for now.